they say out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> All right. At the end of my second day of working on the RV, we have cleared the area out. I actually took all this apart. There was like a little piece of a uh, tab thingy here. I'm having a hard time focusing here, but there was a little piece of a tab thingy that stuck up that was like bending over because this is actually too big. But I've decided to break it all apart and this is going to be Velcroed into place. And this back one will have Velcro too, but it's going to be a diagonal like that. Uh, I did move the, uh, initially I moved the table, you know, instead of a desk mode, I moved it back to table mode, but then decided, you know what, it's mostly going to be me in here, uh, and if I have my children, you know, we eat with the, they eat with the little portable table thingy there, that little black thing right there that folds up, so I'll leave it in desk mode, because I think it, it's easier for me to get in and out, you know, and when my wife comes to hang out, one of us sits there and one of us sits here and eats off that little table thingy. So that's sitting across from each other. Because this table's really tiny. Um, but I did manage to get some trash, but not that much. What I did with most of the stuff, honestly, is out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Instead of having tubs, though, I kind of bag things up. I kind of... I still have this box I'm going to get rid of, but all this paper, loose paperwork was brought back here, and the photo albums were brought here. You can see I bagged up some items, took my tools, and stuck them back here. So it's kind of a mess. I moved the mess from up there back here. <laughs> That's one way to make one spot look clean, right? So I got the air conditioning on right now because the, the car is running and charging up the batteries because, you know, I do run the 12 volts when I'm here to use them. I could run the pump and everything looks like it's functioning other than air conditioning. But honestly, the, the front cab AC right now is blowing extremely cold. It's, I got it on high and it's actually blowing and spreading the cold into me right now. This is really comfortable standing here. I can actually enjoy and feel the air conditioning. So a potential, if it got really hot and I don't have air conditioning, I could run the vehicle and run the vehicle's air conditioning and just sit here and cool down. But even up here, I don't know if you'd want to run it all night, you know, because you, you run a risk of carbon monoxide. I have the carbon monoxide detector turned to off right now because it was going off for some reason. Uh, probably from running the engine and carbon monoxide. <laughs> so I could be getting poisoned right now. But I'm not planning on staying in very long. I was just running it to charge up the batteries and wanted to show you guys what it looks like at the end of day two. Um, I basically just spent about an hour, an hour and a half cleaning. And what I'll be doing is putting Velcro down to hold it into place. I did um, have an issue with this. This uh, sofa actually folds out and becomes a bed, but the problem is there's storage under there that's hard to access. So from looking at this, there's a huge panel up front here that I don't even like that, that covering they put on anyways. So it's kind of like a velvety cloth covering. But what I'm gonna do is rip all that off and maybe put a new front on it, but not just a new front. I'm thinking of making dressers, like one, two, three, three dresser drawers. So with the dresser drawers, I can store things under there and pull them out. You know, I can um, basically just pull the drawer out. This has a little cabinet that opens up, but there's no dresser or anything. You just kind of stuff things back in there. So all of this will be, um, this is gonna be a new storage unit that I'll be making. Originally, I thought of ripping the whole thing apart and making a nice bed, a nice little sofa bed, you know, that would fit over there on my own. But I'm like, you know what, I don't want to spend too much more money into this. And they already re-upholstered everything. It looks nice. It doesn't look nice with that, with that cloth thing under there. But I'm going to remove that. And I'll probably put up some wainscoting or just paint it white. Yeah, not wainscoting, white. Because it's going to have drawers there. And the drawers will pull out. And you can put things in it like linen, maybe, depending on how big, how much space I actually have available. I might even make like a little garage type drawer where you can put things like paint and um, WD-40 and things like that. Supplies that you might need or paint and stuff may go outside in one of the, because you know the RV has um, storage compartments outside. They're all packed and not organized right now, so it's an issue of me making the time to go down there and say, you know what, this is where the paint's going to go, this is where whatever's going to go. And really, I don't know if you really want to haul paint around, you know. The, the only reason for carrying paint would be your painting right now. Because um, really, in an RV, you don't want to ha have to carry excess stuff. 
But yeah, I, I have the, the cover, which is just stuffed back there right now. Uh, because the cover is a different pattern and stuff. And it looked, you know, it wasn't pleasing to look at the, the blue seats there. And then over here it had the check, well, not checkboard, but the striped pink and purple and green and blue, whatever, cover covering the, um, the seat here. So by having it like this, when I walk in now and I look towards the front, you know, other than the overhead compartment being a little jammed with supplies and stuff, it looks comfortable. Like, I can come sit here right now and the air conditioning's blowing right on me. It's nice and cool. I can actually sit down here and relax. Um, I may be able to bring my computer in here to set it back up and work a little bit, you know. Uh, possibly running 120 volts off an inverter. The vehicle has an inverter. I think it has an inverter. Or maybe not. No. I don't think it has an inverter. The reason I don't think it has an inverter is the 12 volt circuits weren't working, you know, when the car's off grid, but it works when it's plugged in. Like the, see, it's got 12 volt, 12 volt plugs right there, and they're turned off unless I'm plugged into grid because they're wired to the 100, not 12, 120 volts. So they're wired to 120 volts, which means. It doesn't have an inverter to turn the 120 volts on from the 12 volts unless you wire it yourself. So that may be a project with the um, the 200, uh, I mean the 2,000 watt inverter, you know, to give myself 120 volt access. That's all in the future. The main thing right now is just to fix it up some more, fix all the shelving, get the food organized instead of just all tossed every which way. Uh, try to make things so that they don't fly around when I'm driving, you know, they're bolted down, they're, they're secured, so that when I have to go somewhere in the RV, I don't have to spend more than two minutes packing. Basically, I want to be able to just turn on the key and drive, and not have to worry about packing my stuff and keeping pots and pans and things from flying around. So everything's got to be secured in the, the final build, you know, when I'm done. But I also want to make it look better. So obviously those dressers and stuff will be repainted. Honestly, it's all junky. You know, it's just got that Formica, whatever that board is, that particle board that falls apart. So in in reality, if I had the time and the money and the enthusiasm, <laughs> I would rip all of this apart and rebuild the whole darn thing. But, you know, then the wall's lopsided. And you're looking at the shape of the RV and you're like, how far do you want to go? And, you know, as, as Timothy said from the very beginning and stuff, the real way to do all this is to rip everything apart. Put up brand new walls with your own windows, with your own ceiling, with all that stuff. But if you're going to do all that, you're going to spend a lot of money and a lot of time. And, you know, the, the way we acquired this RV and how we got into it and how things happened, we weren't planning on that. I was just planning on just fixing it good enough. That's why it's called good enough. It's just to be good enough to live in. Um... And, you know, decided on good enough, but also nice looking with the wainscoting and stuff and not spending too much money. So that's still the running theme. Um, I'm not going to spend too much money fixing it. So instead of getting new drawers, whatever, um, or even sanding that down, because that would be a real good way to do it. As you sand it down, you make it smooth, you repaint it and everything. But me, I'm not going to do that. Okay, this, this RV is good enough. So I am going to fix some of those drawers that are sticking out because they're not holding in place. So I'll fix it physically, you know, mechanically, physically, so it doesn't break or it works better. The doors and stuff work better. But as far as, like, getting new drawers and stuff or even sanding that down before I paint it, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to get paint and paint it on there. And it's not going to look perfect, but it should look better than it looks right now. That's the key. Now, if I spent a little bit more time, like, see how it has... um. The two-tone here, it has the, the paper here that's coming off, which I'll try to peel off here. And then it's got the Formica board or whatever underneath. Well, you really should remove this, all of this and then um, sand it down and then paint it. But see, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to peel off what I can. And I might try to sand a little bit, maybe, to feather the edge. And then I'm just going to paint it. You're like, but won't that peel off later? Maybe, maybe not. If it peels off, then I'll just repaint it again. <laughs> paint it. Paint is cheap. Time isn't. I'm like, well, you got to redo it again. You're wasting time. Yeah. 
possibly we'll see um see like right here it doesn't seem to be peeling anymore so matter of fact i can barely feel it so i might not even sand it or i might just take a little bit sanding block and just sand that edge just a little bit then i'm going to paint it all um the other option is to not even do that but to put a new front on it like a, an, a thin piece of wood or something wood grain or something and just cut it to the shape and just screw it right on here then you're hiding all this nastiness you know it's ugly behind here but you got a new front on it that might be better than painting it could could do the um the whole thing the in what's that, that wainscoting i don't know i think paint's going to be the way to go because this paint is cheap i've got the paint right here it's a uh, white paint really cheap you know, it was like 17 18 dollars for this color place i think it's what walmart calls it why is this thing not focusing okay it's color place and um the idea is just uh cheap good enough it's meant to be put together really 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 cheap but it should look halfway decent so stay tuned i'm planning on coming back the rest of this week as much as i can um the next time we come over we're gonna try to hit the kitchen because this is a mess we're gonna get this a little bit organized so we can use it and um, we're gonna try to keep we're going to try not to move stuff back to the areas that we cleared out. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to, it's all going to be piled up back there, but I'm going to clear all that out and organize it. It's a plan. So the plan isn't to shove it back there, then go back there and shove it back up here because that would be counterproductive. So I'm going to try to keep it clean like this. And uh, when I do the kitchen, we're going to try to do the same. We're going to keep throwing things away and shoving things out into the back. And eventually, when we get to the back, that's when we're going to have to go through everything. And I've been going through stuff. So I've been throwing some stuff away. You can see that trash is empty. I'm throwing away a couple boxes, some paper, and, you know, just some little loose items. I may go through and, and empty out a little bit more trash before I leave today. But I'm not going to spend more than another 15, 20 minutes here. But the idea is to at least do something. And the fact is... Uh, we're only on day two of the, the cleanup, the restoration, and already the RV is like looking a lot better. You know, I, I walk in here and I look at this front section, I no longer feel like um, overwhelmed. But then when I turn around, I'm like, oh my goodness, <laughs> oh my goodness. But, um, you know, maybe after tomorrow when, when we, we come in and we film from this angle, we won't go, oh my goodness, that's a mess. It'll start to, to look a little bit smoother, and uh, then we'll continue working our way back. And once I have it pretty much straightened out and cleaned up, I think I'm going to start painting. Although I may build before I paint. I don't know. Because it would make more sense to build before you paint, because you're going to paint the stuff that you built. <laughs> we'll see. There's really no set plan other than we are going to proceed with restoring good enough. And maybe in the end, good enough might be better than good enough. So until next time, everyone, take care. God bless you all. Stay safe. I hope that if you're working on a project and you feel overwhelmed, that uh, this video kind of inspires you a little bit to at least just do something. Even if it's not big. Even if it's as simple as just taking a couple pieces of trash out and maybe vacuuming a little bit, you know. But it, even if you don't vacuum and stuff, that's fine. Just do what you can. And uh, piece by piece, just like Walter's tree, it'll get cleared out. So take care, everyone. Have a blessed day, and thank you for your continued support. Bye-bye now.